Hey everyone! Welcome back to the Awesomer Pop channel. Today we're gonna make rainbow gummy sprite bottles. We recently did a rainbow gummy coke bottle video, so it's only natural we do a sprite one this time. Alright, we won't be needing the actual beverage today, so let's pour out the sprite into a cup. If you plan on making this, just save the sprite or drink it with your next meal. If you do save it, it might go flat, so probably best to drink it right away. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the bottle. So we will need the label for later, but we don't need it now, so let's use an X-Acto knife to rip it off. If you want to make your gummy bottle look nice, don't mess up this part. If your label gets all wrinkled up or cut up, your gummy bottle won't look as good. Okay, so I carefully peeled off the Sprite label. We'll come back to this later. Now let's work on the bottle. Just like the Coke bottles, we need to make a slit right down the middle using an X-Acto knife. Be very careful when doing this part. Do it nice and slow and don't try to speed through this. I don't want any of you guys getting hurt while cutting the bottle open. Once you have a cut like this, we have to cover it up with duct tape. We cut it and we seal it. Get a big enough strip to cover the cut. Alright, so this bottle is pretty curvy, so it can get pretty frustrating trying to seal the cut. Here's a tip if you're having that problem. Make tiny cuts on the bottom like this on both sides, and you should be able to secure the opening better. Do the same for the top. Pretty easy, right? Now let's clean this up. Perfect. Now let's test to see if it's completely sealed. Wait a few minutes. If it ends up leaking, you might want to add another strip of duct tape or you have to start all over again. Ugh. All right, all of these bottles are perfect, so we can move on to our next step. It's time to make the jello. Let's add a quarter cup of corn syrup into a cup of hot water. Mix this up. We'll start by making green jello. We're going to pour in this entire pack. Mix this up until everything dissolves. Now let's bloom some gelatin. We need three tablespoons. There's one. Here's two. And three. Now we're just going to let this sit for a few minutes. But you can go right into mixing if you want. Now let's mix this up until we get a slushy-like texture. Alright, let's add our gelatin into the jello mix as well. So by adding all of this gelatin, keep in mind we will lose some of that sweet flavor, but we will get perfect gummy bottle shapes in return. Okay, let's pour this jello into one of the sprite bottles. Perfect! This green one will look pretty similar to an actual Sprite bottle once we're finished. Alright, now we need to fill up the other bottles. I skipped ahead. Now we need to put these in the fridge overnight, and they'll be ready to go. Okay, we don't want you guys waiting all night, so we skipped ahead. I also put the labels back on each bottle. For other gummy projects, I would say 4-5 to five hours should do the trick, but for these gummy bottles, I highly recommend you keep them in the fridge overnight. Just in case, don't want your bottle shapes getting messed up and you want your gummy to be as firm as possible. Okay, now let's check out each individual gummy bottle. So let me show you the best way to take the gummy bottle out. First, you need to rip off the duct tape. This part is pretty simple. Easy. Okay, now getting the gummy out of the bottle is the trickiest part. Just like we did with the duct tape in the beginning, make tiny cuts on both ends. And then just slowly peel the plastic off. Just work the middle area. You can leave the top and bottom parts alone for now. Okay, let's do a little feel check. Oh yeah, that's perfect. It's firm and has a nice gummy feel. Now let's work on getting the top part off. Just make small cuts all around the plastic.
and then slowly pull it apart while rotating your gummy bottle. And after a while, the plastic should easily come off. Use your fingers to push down on the neck too. That helps a lot. Perfect! Now let's do the same for the bottom. Carefully pull it apart. Awesome! Here's our green gummy sprite bottle. Looks pretty good, right? I love how this gummy bottle feels. Okay, now let's wrap the label around the gummy bottle. And look at that! Visually, looks just like a sprite bottle, right? And to make it even more realistic, you can add the cap on top. Beautiful! Now here is a closer look at our red sprite bottle. Here's a closer look at our orange sprite bottle. Here's a closer look at our yellow sprite bottle. And here's a closer look at our blue sprite bottle. Okay, and we just finished making our rainbow gummy sprite bottles. I didn't do a close up. But the bottle furthest to the right is the purple sprite bottle. Which color is your favorite? Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy while I slice up each bottle. I'll do a taste test for each bottle too, so stick around. Okay, let's try this green gummy. I love the texture, but yeah, just like I said before, not as sweet since we used a lot of gelatin, but it's not bad. Still really good. Now let's try the red gummy. Mmm, this strawberry one is delicious.
Now let's try the orange gummy. Mm -mm -mm. I actually like these thick slices. It's more fun to chew. Now let's try the yellow. This yellow one is always solid. I like this flavor. Alright, Blue, don't let me down. Never does. This one is actually the sweetest. Maybe I'm biased, but I think it is. Now let's try the purple. Oh yes! Like I always say, purple is my second favorite. I actually don't mind these jello gummies being less sweet. They still taste really good, so give it a try. Awesome pop fans! Thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff. And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya!